Chapter 3. Intrigue at Rhyming. Hello everyone and welcome back to some more football adventures in the land of Inazuma 11. So last time we defeated the occult team, which uh, had threatened us with, uh, with a curse. But now we're, we've, we've beaten them and we're ready to take on the national finals, or I mean, not really the finals yet, but we're, we're getting there. We're, uh, we're on our way to the national frontier, I assume. Oh, and there's a new handsome guy. He's a striker? Okay. I wonder who he is. He's from America, I see. Okay. He's no one that we, we've known yet. I mean, we've, we've met already. So uh, let's go in down to the soccer club and meet him, I guess. Hmm, they could be pulling our leg. I, I wonder, Mark. Let's go check it out. It's actually pretty funny and something that I didn't plan for. It's that we're playing this game, which is themed after football during the European National... Uh, Championship. It's, it's pretty interesting. And uh, I, I'd like to know, who are you rooting for? If, if you, of course, you're, you're following the, the championship and you're into football yourself. I mean, you people usually root for their own country, but it's it's not a... Uh, it's not... You don't have to. So I, I don't judge, so hey. If you've been eliminated and you're rooting for another team, I happen to be rooting for Portugal, of course, which is my country. We haven't been eliminated yet, but... Eh, I mean, uh, I, I don't think they're as good as the... Uh, like to think they are. Oh, who are you, Bobby? Wow, Nelly is cold as ever. As cold as ice. Rabbit Hutch? Wow, everyone's a dick in this game. It's like Shenmue all over again. Yes, you're very popular, Bobby. Bobby Shearer, and apparently he's hot. According to what the other girl said, I don't know. I'm not a I'm very good at uh, at telling how how hot men are. My girlfriend tells me I have a terrible taste in men. Oh, Wild Junior High? I don't know who they are. They seem weird. Oh, and he's the bracket. Pretty cool. Watch us fail. Wow. Thank you, Nelly. You're very encouraging. Hmm. All right. Wow, she's such a dick. Well, let's welcome the new boy and uh, have him join our ranks. He's a defender. Okay. I wonder how good he is. Are you not used to the word mate? Well, I guess it's not really one that is used very often overseas more of a of an English trend of a from the UK is what I mean <laughs> alright and another route in the connection map has opened which we don't really care about what is up Nelly what's happening because you're very famous and pretty I don't know because you're a bitch I don't know alright before we go to the club room we're going to make a little detour over here to the left because on the bottom side near the club rooms here there should be someone. Hey, it's our friend Peabody. Remember him from the other episode? Well, uh, Peabody, you need, again, to recruit him, you need to talk to him on three different occasions and you need to talk to him nine times each time and he will run after each time you talk to him nine times. Am I making any sense? Well, basically, this is the second location where you'll find him. He's going to be standing around here, and we're going to pester him again until he decides we're annoying and uh, he'll leave. And in this, in this session, we're probably going to recruit him. He is not very good. I mean, again, as I have said, most characters that are not from the main cast aren't very good. I mean, it's not like they're bad or they're irredeemably bad. I mean, you can train them to be good, but they're not. And there he goes. And uh, we're going to go meet with him at his last location later, but now we're going to go to the club room. Going to proceed with the quest at hand. Hey, what is up, Bobby? So polite people in Japan. I mean, I, I mean, I don't know. 
In Japan, they have this uh, this custom where students just stand in front of the class and they introduce themselves. We never had that with new students where, where I come from. They just, you know, they blend in and I guess you'd meet them in, uh, in recess or something? They never actually made them introduce themselves to the class. Yes, she is! Wow, you only care about yourself, don't you, Mr. Winter C? What a dickhole. They're excellent jumpers. I wonder why. I mean, Wild could sort of uh, clue us into what type of players they are, what type of... Uh, what stereotype they follow, because every team in this game follows a stereotype, except the main team, I guess. Our team. So we need high jumping skills, alright. I wonder how we're gonna beat them. Ooh, so Axel used to be from Kirkwood. I guess Kirkwood is another high school. Okay. Actually, no, I've never heard of them. Oh, I see. Sometimes this game skips a little bit ahead when I'm not pressing buttons. I wonder why that is. If it's the controller or what? Uh, what is happening here? I guess it might be the controller. Okay, so... Hmm, we need something different than the fire tornado. Are we gonna create a new technique, or... How are we gonna beat this? Hmm, a new move to control the skies. I wonder what, what that could mean. Oh, the library, okay. Okay, let's go meet Celia then. I don't like that. I don't like you talking to Bobby in private. I mean, I, I don't want you to corrupt him, corrupt him, Mr. Winter C, because I don't really trust you with your weird hairdo and uh, you phoning people without my knowledge. I guess I'm very, I'm a very controlling captain of the team, I suppose. Hmm. So they know our friend there as well, huh? Oh, and she used to live in America, Sylvia did. Hmm, you're a little bit evasive there. Do you know Bobby? It seemed like you did. Okay. Again. Jack, you dickhole. Such a wet blanket. This is the first time I've ever heard this expression before, wet blanket. Well, they are both defenders, so it didn't make sense. Yes, I have, actually. Yes. Oh, cool, yes, so now we gain a new ability. This is the competitive route. Basically, once you've beaten a team, um, for instance, uh, the occult that we've just beaten up, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna talk to Sylvia, and, uh, we can play friendlies against them after you've beaten them, and at the end of the route, you will get a reward based on your performance. If you get an S on every single match, of the, uh, every single one of the rematches, you will get two rewards at the end, if, and if you beat them with any other score, when you get to the end, you'll get just one reward. The second one is a little bit harder to obtain. And in order to get the S ranking in all of the matches, you need to beat them with a difference of five goals or more and not have them score any goal on you. It's a lot easier than you might think, but your team needs to be a lot higher level. For instance, if we would, if we were to try right now, we, we probably would beat the Occult that we, we just beat last session. But, uh, we probably wouldn't be able to rack up a, uh, an S rank. It's also a good way to practice, as she's saying right now. If you need experience, you should try asking for, for friendlies over at Sylvia. Alright, okay, well, we're not gonna do that right now, because that... Mm, it's not very interesting, it's just basically having rematches against the teams we've previously beaten, so it's, it's not a, a priority. Hey, is this Zack's brother? I mean, Jack's brother? Zack. <laughs> oh? Oh, 
Oh, so he forgot his rice ball at home. Okay. That's a nice uh, younger brother. Ah, that's so nice of you. Yes, the... Uh, 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 what? You've been training? Jack has been training us? Wow. You're an asshole, Zack. Oh, what's going on? Oh, is he showing off for his brother? Maybe. Yeah, what was that all about? Oh, oh, so we were correct. He was just showing off for his brother. I see. Yeah, that is true. I mean, you have to actually become a cool player, and then you won't have to lie to your brother. You'll actually be a, a star player. Alright, so he's coming with us. Fantastic. Pretty cool. So we're going to the library. The library is on the main building, so back to where we were before. Back to the right here, and then up. It's an area we won't be using very much. But it's necessary for this part of the quest, so let's do it! I actually haven't touched on my, um, <laughs> something that's custom built by me, which is my cooling system that I'm using right now in order to be able to play this, uh, this game effectively. Uh, oh, hey, there's Celia. Because, as you know, we're playing on an emulator, and the yes, emulator is a very resource-intensive. And, um, because of that, my computer sort of heats up a lot. So what I'm doing is I am using ice and uh, wrapping it up in a sort of a uh, some plastic and uh, then some cloth and putting on top of putting it on top of my processor there where it will keep it nice and cool and now we're gonna have to look Ooh, there is something shining on the floor here right what's up let's, uh, let's touch that and that is my cool my custom built cooling system for my PC quick draw wow we got a manual nice ooh that's cool yeah, Mark is the only person that can read any of the manuals. I, I suppose these were also written by his grandfather? All of them? That's... okay. I didn't know that was uh, that was actually true, but okay. Okay. Learning special moves! Okay, so basically it's time to talk about special moves. Basically each character learns four special moves normally by leveling up, and then they have two extra slots where they can learn moves by teaching them, by being taught using one of these manuals. So that you can sort of shape the character in a different direction if you want to, or maybe you'd like to cover some of their shortcomings, and uh, this is a good way to do so. Fantastic! I'm going to show that off in a second after I collect all of these, because all of these are going to be manuals for different things. This is a shot manual, fantastic. The other one was a block, I believe. And the next one is probably going to be an offensive move, is my guess. Yes, magic is an offensive move, maybe? I think it is. Well, they are pieces of paper, so it makes sense that they would be in the library, right? Oh, there's another one here. Four special moves, fantastic. Oh, the source thorn. It's called the Inazuma Drop. Yeah, it's torn, that's why it's different. Hmm, it might be... I mean, why are you saying that? Is it because it's Storm? Does it pique your interest? Yeah, let's ask the librarian. That's the girl, I think, standing right next to us? Scrap of the manual, fantastic. Well, she's right there. That's not much of an objective, but okay. I'll take it. I mean, that's your job, so okay. Oh, the comic book club? Why? Have any inspiration, I guess? To, uh, write their own work? Because did you know, manga drawers or writers or uh, directors? I don't know what they're called, to be honest. Producers? I don't know. Um, manga writers 
need a lot of inspiration to come up with uh, with good new stories. So uh, they do a lot of things to that effect. They study, they uh, they read books, they read other mangas, they watch TV shows and, uh, and movies, sometimes old movies, and that's how where they get the inspiration to come up with uh, new works of art. And that's not plagiarism, because um, if you're just basing yourself on another work, go to the comic book club. Okay, we can make our way there through here if this is clear. Yes, it is. Actually, before we head up there, we're going to do something different. We're going to take a little uh, detour and recruit someone